the state's doing very well. Businessjournaldaily.com, three minutes with, is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. We're not just helping young people and be able to avoid student debt and prepare for the next stage. I think we're helping the whole, uh, the whole economy here in the state of Ohio with what you're doing. I mean, our sales tax revenues are up, our income tax revenues are up, our expenses are down from the hiring freeze. Uh, so we're doing very well. The state's been doing great. We haven't reached into our $2.6 billion rainy day fund yet. Um, and financially, we're very, very strong. It's the untold story of middle America out of the coronavirus. Uh, the economy is humming. So, uh, you know, I think that when you, when you look at this budget, not only are we doing well in this current budget cycle, but the federal government is sending us uh, $11.5 billion. Uh, so, you know, the, the question before us is going to be, how do you spend that money? How do we invest in ourselves? How do we rebuild Ohio uh, and make sure that we get a return on those investments? You know, how do we invest in our infrastructure, our roads, our bridges, our water lines, our sewer lines, and the plants that make economic development happen? So that's going to be our question on a go-forward basis for uh, the next two years. Do universities and community colleges like Eastern Gateway and YSU do they have a role to play in that, in that kind of that projection? They have a key role to play in that because the infrastructure that they have, of course, is the ability to teach students. And, uh, you know, in, in the work, kind of in the work of tomorrow, in 10 years, 20 years down the road, whoever has the workforce is going to win. Uh, and businesses are going to move to places not because of a fancy spec building, but they're going to go there because they've got a great workforce. And so these institutions, uh, Eastern Gateway, Youngstown State, are becoming more and more critical to the vibrancy and the ability for an area to be relevant in the future. And my last question, when you kind of look at where everything was at about six months ago, uh, just kind of looking at where the budget's at now, is that a pleasant surprise, just seeing how everything's progressed? It's, it's remarkable. Um, I think that when we shut down our you know, $16 trillion economy as a, as, as a country, we expected everything to, to plummet, uh, and instead it's come roaring back. It's, it's, we're doing very, very well as a state, um, and there's still some sectors that are suffering, restaurants and hospitality and travel, but there's other areas that are doing quite well, and I think it speaks to our over, overall resilience as a state and our diversity. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell for notifications. And also make sure to connect with us on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. For all of your business news, visit businessjournaldaily.com. For all of your arts and entertainment news, go to afterhoursyoungstown.com. Businessjournaldaily.com. Three Minutes With is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. I like a bank that's a pillar in my community. I like a bank so cutting edge, they have a lab branch. We are so alike. Well, we do both bank at Farmers National Bank. Farmers. Stand strong.